Hi, this is Emily Ayanelli of T-Girl Angel. And I'm going to read two entries. Um, this is something that I can relate to personally. And I wrote it, actually. I wrote all my writings. I had to. Who else would? This expresses my feelings on what I go through. And um, I believe that most people who identify like I do will understand. Transgender. I stare at the walls. I think I'm going out of my mind. What am I going to say? What brought me here? I know, but it is hard to talk about it. I am scared. I don't know what to say. I've been hiding these feelings for all my life. Now I have to open up and share my life story to a stranger. Who will believe me? So far, no one has even heard my true story. I don't even know this person. Just because they are a doctor, are they going to understand? I never told anyone. I lived with my secret all my life. I thought it would always be my personal little secret that I would tuck away, never revealing. Sometimes I just want to end my pain. I'm tired of this loneliness I feel. I'm tired of living a lie. I'm tired of pretending to be someone else. Why do I feel so trapped? Why can't I escape these chains that imprison me? I can't take it anymore. I want out. I suffered long enough. My heart is beating a mile a minute. I'm not prepared for this. I have tons of questions. My mind is on overload. I don't know where to begin. How can I speak the words I want to say? I never even told my family, not even my best friend, no one. Now all of a sudden, I'm going to be able to talk about all this heartbreak. I feel like running. I don't know where. I am so confused. I have my life already established. What's going to happen to me? I have my own family. How am I going to tell them? I just feel like crying. I'm in so much pain. Should I just forget about it? Should I just keep living the lie? Is that the best road to take? People don't understand what I am going through. That is why I don't say anything. I'm afraid what they will think. I am very sensitive. I am very emotional. I am very shy. I'm living in the closet. I'm wearing a dress underneath my suit right now. No one knows but me. This has always been the way I dress. Girls clothes underneath my boy clothes. If I don't transition, can I live with that? I just feel like there is no hope for me. Why should I continue? I'm miserable. Sure, I'm happy I'm married. Sure, I'm happy I have a son. Sure, I'm happy I have a job and a career. But deep down inside, I'm longing for something. I know what it is. I want to tell my family. I want to tell my friends. I want to tell the world. I can't though. I stand too much to lose. I can't bear to lose my family. I can't bear to lose my job. I can't bear to lose my house. 
Everything I worked so hard for, I stand to lose. There's a big risk. The problem is, I feel I have no choice. I am struggling with something not many people understand. You see, I am transgender. What that means is I identify as a girl, even though I was born a boy. I lived essentially a male life. However, something happened in my life to bring me here. It is my destiny. I must transition. I have no choice. It's either transition or something I dare not say. I fight those feelings every day. No one can possibly know what I'm feeling, not even this doctor. So even if I bear my soul to him, what is he going to do? I'm on my own here. I have to make this monumental decision. The way I see it, I have two choices. The first one is the most logical one. The alternative not such a good idea. If I were the, to choose the alternative, let's just say it would land me in the psych ward. Maybe that's where I belong. I need help. I need someone who will listen to me. I need a shoulder to cry on. I just don't know anymore. I just want this pain to go away. I want to be set free. I want to be the girl I always knew I was meant to be. That is my destiny. I now know what I must say. Emily Ayanelli of T-Girl Angel. And my next entry is a special friend. We all seek friendship. We all need someone we can call a friend. Someone we can talk to. Someone we can share our deepest thoughts with. Someone we can lean on when we feel all alone. Someone who can listen to us. Life is complicated. We don't always feel like we fit in. Sometimes we just want to be left alone. Sometimes we just want to cry. Sometimes we just want to escape. Escape the pain. We all have some kind of pain. If we didn't, we would be lying. We need to build a foundation in our life. That is with anything. Friendships are built on firm foundations. Relationships need cultivating. So do friendships. Can guys have girls as friends? Can girls have guys as friends? Why not? Not everything has to be based on sex. Platonic friendships do indeed exist. In fact, it is healthy to have friendships with the opposite sex. What is a friend? Someone who will trust you. Someone who will stand by your side. Someone who will believe in you. A friend is also someone you can listen to. Someone you can lend emotional support to. Someone you can be there for. You see, friendship is a two-way street. There is give and take. The sad reality is that friendships, like anything else, will eventually come to an end. It may be for a whole host of reasons. The obvious being that friends move on. We may keep in touch. Friends come and go. True friends last forever. We will know when we meet one. It doesn't matter the distance that separates us. It doesn't matter the time that has elapsed. 
lasting friendships, though hard to find, are truly very special. Cherish those friendships. We all need a special friend. Emily Ainelli, a T-girl angel. I love you.